guys, I'm just 675 here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the 40320 Plants from Plants promotional set. So here it is, the box is quite small, 29 pieces for this set, and we have some plants here, and I'll just show you guys the sides of the box as per usual. We at the bottom here we do have a nice one-to-one -one with some plants, and then the bottom with the barcode and all that, and this is the top up here. And then if we were to take a look at the back, you do have the push-in tab, but you also have tape on this box, so I'm wondering what's up with that. But you do have some plants back here as well, and this illustration. So, yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with the box. Some of the taping, as well as the having the push tab does kind of confuse me a bit, but now I'm going to open the set. Included in the set is the box, the instruction manual, as well as two bags of plants. Alright, so now we'll take a look at the instructions from this set. If we are to unfold them here, they are not folded symmetrically, which is something that bothers me personally, but really isn't a big thing at all. So, it's not looking like we're actually going to be building anything out of this instruction manual. And I don't know if I'm going to read all this, but who will read at least the headings? Grow your own Plantus Maximus with the first sustainable Lego elements. Congratulations, you are one of the very lucky builders to receive a limited edition exclusive box of the first sustainable Lego elements made from plants. This box celebrates the first big milestone in the Lego group's journey to use sustainable materials in all our core products and packaging by 2030. These classic botanical Lego elements are available for the first time in brilliant lime green color, as well as our Lego green and are made from the plastic, which is produced using sugar cane. The elements are compatible with the first ever Lego bricks made 60 years ago and are an example of our continued commitment to innovation while staying true to quality play, experience, and durability that is at the heart of the Lego system. With these cool new elements, you can build your own Plantus Maximus and join our mission to protect the planet. Build, play, and share at lego.com slash plants from plants. So, um, I'm not going to read all of this. I did read the introduction, and I think that this is actually just the same thing in a bunch of different languages. And that appears to be true. You got French here as well as a few other languages as well. But... Yeah, this this is pretty interesting. Nothing really specific to build out of this sort of set here. Um, this is a very, very interesting set, if you can tell. So, overall, besides the folding, I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with this little thing here. You're not really building anything as for instructions. It's more just kind of a an announcement or kind of context to what this actually is. So I think that this has done a kind of a good job of explaining to people who didn't get what this was maybe about to what this is about. So now that we have taken a look at the instructions, I'm going to open the bags of plants because there's nothing to build, and then we'll take a look at them. Alright, so now I have opened all of the two bags that you get. You do get a bunch of extra elements here, because this is kind of just a parts pack set, which is something I like, especially for plants, because I'm a huge fan of Lego plants. If you if you haven't seen my collection of Lego grass pieces, which I'm kind of sad they don't have any in here, but, you know, it's fine. So, we do only get five different pieces in this thing. You get this small tree here, this bush, this sort of tropical leaf here, this sort of regular sort of leaves, and then these sort of bamboo pieces here. You do get a few of each one. You get two of the tr small trees. You get three of these bushes. You get four of these sort of palm tree leaves. You get four of these smaller leaves here. And then you also do get quite a few of these. And if I'm to count, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16 of these in total, so you do get quite a few different plants in here. None of these, I believe, are new elements. Maybe this one's in a new color, but I don't really believe that to be true. Um, so all of these are elements that have been seen before, and taking a look at these here, they, they, they don't really look bad or anything, and... Yeah, so these are the elements that you get. Now I'm going to bring out a piece that is similar to, because I don't believe I have this piece in this color, but at least very similar to each part, and I will be comparing them from the irregular plastic that they've been made of from the last few years over to this new plant-based plastic that they have been made in now. 
Alright, so now I've gathered each piece from my own collection made out of the older plastic. The only one that I don't have is this sort of leaf and lime. I do have it in this kind of darker color though. I don't know the exact name of this color off the top of my head. But I do have the same piece, so we'll be taking a look at all these pieces here. On Here on the right I have my pieces that have been from the ABS plastic and here on the left are the pieces from this set that have been made from the sugarcane based plastic that they're going to start using to make all their plant pieces. So let's take a look at these two pieces first. These are the bamboo leaf pieces. Putting them right next to each other, the colors are pretty similar. I believe that this one is a bit lighter but it's not really noticeable to the point that it's a real issue. They both stack on top of each other. All these pieces fit together quite nicely, so really happy about that. As far as the feeling goes, they feel about the same. I'm not noticing anything substantial as far as how these pieces feel. If anything, I'd say this one's just a bit smoother, but actually, no, this one's a bit smoother, but it's, you know, it's so close that, you know, it doesn't really make a whole lot of a difference, so these pieces are really nice here, and I do like them quite a lot. If you were to hold them up like that, you can see that the one made out of the ABS is a bit darker, but this one is just a bit lighter, and really they're so close that you can't even tell the difference that easily. Now we'll be comparing these two sort of tropical leaves, and again, the one made out of the ABS is a bit darker than this newer one, but this newer one actually does feel a bit nicer than the older one. Uh, this one does feel a bit smoother, but this one feels more like I would imagine a leaf to feel. This one feels very nice pieces. Pretty much identical though, as far as the molds go, they do use the same molds, and they fit together just like all the other pieces do. So if I'm to get those apart, all of these pieces fit together, so very nice. I really do like both of these here. Not really any difference, um, if anything, I actually like this one more, because on this one, I don't know if you can, you can kind of see it on the camera, but there's kind of like the dimples from the reverse studs that are on the bottom of this, and this one doesn't have that for whatever reason, so I like this piece quite a lot. I think that they have so far done a good job on at least what I've seen so far in this video of the plastic, and you can see it still has all the all the Lego logo and stuff on there underneath, so you can look at the part number. Now I'll be taking a look at these two leaf pieces. These are actually different colors, so I can't really compare the colors, but as far as the feeling goes, this piece feels quite a lot nicer, even though this one is smoother, so really that's all I can really say to compare them. They fit together once again, so all these pieces I believe will fit nicely and nothing really to complain about here. Now I'll take a look at these bush pieces and once again the one made out of the ABS is a bit of a darker green even though these ones are a bit are a bit closer than the other one. Actually actually they're really close. I don't know which one is actually darker. This one might be darker but they're very close to the point where it's not really noticeable. Um, if we are just to look at them here, um, they feel, these ones feel pretty much the same. Um, they both feel really smooth and a bit sharp if you poke them on the wrong way, but not not too sharp or anything. Not, it's pretty dull actually, but overall um, nothing really to complain about again here. I think they've done a good job translating the, these pieces over. And the last two we'll be looking at are these two small trees which again, the one made out of the sugarcane based plastic is a bit lighter in color than the one made out of the ABS. But other than that, they do feel pretty similar. This one does feel a bit more jagged and this plastic feels just a bit softer to me at least. Maybe it's because of how hard I'm pushing on them when I'm feeling them, but who knows. But other than that, these are really close. Uh, I think I think that's kind of where, how all these pieces are, is that, you know, it's nice that Lego is making, you know, kind of renewable energy, not, well not renewable energy, but kind of recyclable parts if you decide to recycle them for some reason. I believe these are recyclable, I don't actually know, but it's nice that they're using more plant-based materials, you know, and, there, and there's a whole host of reasons why that's great, which I'm not going to talk about here, but it's kind of cool to see that if this is a new direction that LEGO has chosen to go into, that these pieces are, are not that different from the older ones, and that in some cases, like sort of the sort of visibility of those inner studs on this piece here that these pieces are actually a bit better than the older ones so 
Now that we have taken a look at all these different pieces here and compared them to the original parts, it's time for my final thoughts and conclusion on this set. Alright, so now that we have taken a look at all the sort of stuff in this set and I've compared the pieces to the older ones, what do I think of this kind of as a whole? The box, the taping in the push tab combined on the same box is a bit confusing to me. Um, if you are wondering, the tape, just cutting the tape, if you normally do that, then that works to open this box and I'm... That, to be honest, that leaves me really confused as to why the push tab is even included as an option to open this box. But, you know, I don't I don't know. There could be a good reason for it. I just don't know what it is. And to me, it seems really confusing as to why they would include both. But other than that, I mean, this is a pretty neat box. As far as the instructions go, they're not really instructions. They're more of just kind of context for what this set is if having it said made from plants on the box wasn't a dead giveaway as to what this is or if you don't know the sort of developments that have been going on around this then you know I think it does a good job of getting anyone up to speed who might not know about what this is up to speed so good on good on Lego for including this I think this set's definitely better with it than without it and as far as all these pieces go um, as, as far as the basis of just including a box of 29 plants I love plant pieces in Lego, and this is a really cool thing for me. And the fact that these are made out of the new plastic, which, as we have touched on, is in some cases better than the old plastic, but in some cases I like the old plastic a bit better. It's it's more of a case-by-case -case basis, and I think that if Lego were to change to this, which I, which I assume is the plan, then I don't think it will be a major problem for, you know, all your other plants. Maybe, maybe you should, maybe you separate these out based on what they're made out of, which is something that I might end up doing. I might end up bagging these pieces when they go into my parts collection so that I know which ones are made from plants and which ones aren't. But in some cases, the parts are so similar that you can probably, you probably don't even need to do that and they all look very similar. So overall, a very positive opinion of this set. I really do like what they have done here. And even maybe not so much as a promotional thing, but I would love it if they did stuff like this in the future. Or maybe you could have like a box of like 29 different fire elements, or maybe a box of different like water elements, or whatever whatever they decide to do. I think that this this is this could be a cool concept if expanded upon. Maybe not, you know, you wouldn't maybe you wouldn't have a box of fire elements made from plants, but you know, if they were to release parts packs kind of like this, you know, sort of along the lines, or maybe even in the same theme as extra, but a bit more specialized and a bit more focusing on maybe one type of piece. You know, I could I could see that as being something that it would be a good seller at least. Even if they just made this as like a mainstream set that you could only buy at Lego stores maybe as part of, as part of the extra line, like a bigger botanical elements sort of thing, maybe with different elements than the original one, I think this could do really well. So overall, really positive opinion of this set. Um, if you do happen to spend enough money at the Lego store to acquire this, then it is a cool set. It, it does have some pretty interesting plant pieces in it. And that's all I could really ask for. So that's going to wrap up my review of the Plants Made from Plants promotional set. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of Lego's new plastic in the comment section below, whether you own this or not. Let me know if you're excited for it. Let me know if, kind of like me, you're kind, you were kind of dreading this at first because you didn't know what it would mean for kind of all your other plants that you have in your collection, but I think that at the most, maybe you'll notice some material changes and some slight color changes between the old and new parts, but other than that, these are very similar to the older pieces, so I don't really see the harm in switching over to like making half of your plant collection irrelevant or anything, so no complaints about this set really at all, really like what they've done here, so... Before I keep rambling, that's going to end this review. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.